Hello everyone, good morning once again, and this is Christian Rostavio. Welcome to my channel, Chris ICP Ad TV. Please do not forget to subscribe as you go along with this topic. Today I wanna go I wanna show you on how to present your presentation, your video that is audible in the other end. Because somewhat like I said in other previous previous blog that when you have to present a, a PowerPoint presentation with a video the video will won't be heard by someone by somebody who is uh, listening to you but this time i'll be going to show to you and how to let someone hear those video that you presented in your presentation so you have to go here take time to listen and enjoy so we have here from from this moment we could also to identify our part here as we go along in this presentation so we have um, this way so we have to start the meeting we have to here we have it here and in this way also we could have join now because we are the, the one so if you are the teacher and we have to uh, for example, okay, we have to send mail and let me check if, if in the other end, let me check if the other in the other end uh, there is someone uh, really um, listening. I have have um, accepted have received your link that is sent so we have to join the meeting so so that we can have the presentation so we have in this also in this way also we could identify that um, like in a previous blog so it's already checked here it's mean the checking of attendance so I already I am already joined so this moment I'll be going to show to you on how to present your screen that is audible to the other end of the class. So we have here my student here, the one student. So I have to present. So in the entire screen, in the entire screen, whatever you do in the entire screen, it will be seen by your student, by your peers, by your workers. Um, in the window, you are just only up, uh, focusing in one specific window that, that's really... Um, uh, you wanted to, to present, for example, PowerPoint only or any other else like this. If you want to present, you prevent something, it's all right. And uh, this time you have to use the Chrome too because it's the best for video and animation. So so that uh, so that every time you present, uh, the student can really hear the video, the animation you have presented in your presentation. So we have to click Chrome tab. Always click the Chrome tab, and you will be asked what to what to show. So we have to share the, this the YouTube because we have to present the video. For example, respiratory system. What is all about the respiratory system? So which means the the student can really hear your video, can really hear the sound. Good grammar and spelling and are important. Also, but if you want to write essays that inspire. What's up, dudes, and what's up, See? ladies? Brian here again, and then look at the. So it's basically. Warm the air. Carbon dioxide is then exhaled through the air passage. What can you do to maintain or improve respiratory system health? Okay, so that is how uh, in our end, in the other end of the student, they will really hear your presentation, your video, because we just use the Chrome tab in presenting. So in that way also, it will, it will also help the the students to understand more and you as a teacher you as a presenter you could really let the other understand the way you present something so we have to click the stop presenting and that's all so you already have uh, this presentation the video using the chrome tab please do not forget this chrome tab that's all for today thank you so much for listening and have a good day bye bye